so honored to have Professor Elber Atman here. Um, he is from Spain and he is a professor at the Liceo Conservatory in Barcelona and also director of Liz, let's call it the Musica de Barcelona. So today he will um, share all he knows about um, Spanish music with us. So welcome, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I must say I'm very, very happy to be here in Hong Kong. It's my first time, <clears throat> but uh, I feel happy because uh, there are so many uh, fantastic pianists in this part of the world, and they become very well known around everywhere. And so that's what I'm happy because I know this is a part of the world where piano is the really important part of the life. And I can imagine that the music written in my homeland is not so well known here because, well, because the Spanish pianists do not arrive to Hong Kong. I don't know why. But uh, I think I, I can do something for this and I will try to make my music well known by Hong Kong musicians, by Hong Kong public. So, I would like to say that uh, generally Spanish music is made out of uh, melodies and rhythm, which is frequent in, in the Occidental music, but especially in the Spanish music. It has also some some roots in the in uh, the Arabian music, so you can have some kind of, uh, of um, tone, some kind of uh, musical uh, tones, like for example, <laughs> this is very, very, very uh, Arabian. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, you can you can find it at the, from the beginning, no, from the end of the 19th century, with uh, most great composers like uh, Albéniz, Granados, Monpou, and also Manuel de Falla. Those are uh, great composers for the piano because they were also great pianists. And there were uh, friends, close friends, for example, from uh, Maurice uh, Ravel in Paris or uh, Claude Debussy. As a matter of fact, either uh, Debussy or uh, Ravel have many contacts with 
Granados, and with Albenis. Both of them lived in London for many years, and that's why they were, they were so close friends. I have to say also that one of the great pianists of that period was, the, the, was who played for the first time most of the piano pieces by Ravel or by Debussy in Paris also. So there is a, a very, very um, good connection between Paris and Barcelona, which is my, my, uh, my city, that's where, I, where I, I live. You can hear this kind of, um, uh, this kind of uh, parallel between uh, Debussy or Ravel. Just listen to this. That's a scale. It's a scale that the uh, BC uses frequently. Uh, let me try to find something in the same time. This is almost the same than uh, Albanese when he writes this. So there, there is a, a, a great connection between uh, those two uh, great um, parts of composers. It's uh, quite different with uh, Germany, for example, or with uh, Austria. Uh, we, we had not this kind of connection. So we are more close to uh, the French kind of composition than uh, Central European uh, mode. Of composition. Then we have other composers also for the piano who are very important but not so well, so well known, like Federico Mompo, who writes also in the style a little, in the style of uh, more modern French composers like Eric Satie, for example, or Poulenc. There is a connection between Satie and Poulenc, who are French, and Mompo, who is uh, Spanish. But as a matter of fact, he is Catalan. Uh, Catalonia is the nation uh, of Barcelona. You know? And there is a, a great connection between those, uh, those, those composers also. Mm. I think this is the most important facts I can, I can explain about uh, how, how sounds the Spanish music. Well, thank you so much, Professor Neo. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.